This has me interested to hear another single. This has me interested to see if there's anything else on this album I might actually enjoy. I mean, it'd be really cool to have a Metallica album I enjoy again. At this point, I am not remotely interested in a new Metallica record. I have never seen a better argument for having less singles on an album. It just gets progressively worse and did not have the strongest starting point. I think I'm done. Okay, so this just seems to be the aesthetic of all of their music videos for this album. High contrast, abstract, blurred, smoky, light rays. Like, it's a cool aesthetic one time, but for the third song in a row now, it's getting old. Yeah, this is just kind of boring. If you're trying to make a mood piece where you're trying to get your audience enveloped into almost like a meditative or trance-like state, you gotta focus on timbres and you gotta focus on transients and dynamics because that's really what sells things like this. This is so modern metal compressed, I don't think it would really accentuate that style of sound very well. God, please start the song, for the love of God. Guys, we're a minute in. What the hell are we doing here? Just the most boring of everything on repeat. Are you, are you serious? Are you serious? We continue the exact same guitar riff, the exact same note, the exact same cluster of rhythms, the gallop, with the exact same way of playing it, and you just change it from one boring backbeat to somehow a more boring backbeat. A minute and 16 seconds of build for that? For fucking that? This is like a five-year-old's conception of what hell would be like. And then we have this slow zoom, 10-second shot of him playing the most boring shit possible, just holding on him. Even the members of Metallica look bored as piss. Maybe that's a sign you're not doing it right. <laughs> look at this shit. What the fuck makes you think I want to look at that? This whole intro is just in a very drawn out, but somehow immensely more boring Eye of the Beholder. Many months later. God. Oh my god. The most lifeless throwaway chug riff with some sustain on the mutes that goes to a flat two and then back to the fucking tonic. Art. Are you fucking serious? You can just yell temptation four times, call that a verse, and you're okay with that. I'm, I'm actually almost impressed. This is like an expert level exercise in how little can we do and get away with it? How much can we stretch out these absolutely recycled, most dumbed down ideas until our audience realizes they're rubes. I am absolutely shocked. Oh my God. Stokes the fire, desire burning. Yeah, James is done. He is checked out. He used to write some like kind of interesting, creative, outside the box imagery that was kind of edgy in an interesting way. But nowadays, like that's 
right next to rhyming fire with desire. Like, go home. That's what we needed was more of that riff. Because we I still haven't digested it yet. The chorus sounds like you ran out of ideas and you're just throwing shit against the wall. The guitar riffs are awkward. The drums do not accent the chord change rhythms. The melody is too root note focused. You're, you guys are done. You are done trying. You are done caring. Well, the good news is we can skip ahead a shitload because it's literally the exact same shit repeated. All right, here we are at the bridge. Okay, I like the head of that riff. The That's kind of cool. It's got a nice energy. It gives you a rhythmic break from what was going on. It adds a little excitement. The drum part is lame dick as shit. But yeah, the head of those riffs is pretty cool. I think the tails need to be workshopped a little bit. It's just a little too predictable. Kill me. Please fucking end me now. Just repeating a lazy, boring, lifeless double stop with too much wah, and then literally shitting notes in a phrase contour that is so fucking boring. This is the sound of giving up but still wanting to be paid. This is the sound of quiet quitting at work where you show up and make money, but you do absolutely as little work as possible. Metallica feels oppressed by its audience that the only way to maintain their exceedingly high lifestyles is that they continuously have to generate music, but they really don't wanna have to put any work anymore because, you know, they're old. I don't care if this album is about the first 18 years of life and you are trying to channel that with this solo. This ain't fucking it, guys. Please, what the fuck? Oh my gosh. Look, I, I think he is trying to channel that 18 year old thing. You can tell because of it, it's like the guy only has three licks in his bag of tricks and he is overusing them and fucking up the rhythm because he has no idea how else to be creative with it. God bless him. Now, imagine if that's not what he's going for and he thinks this is an honest attempt. How much more embarrassing is that? If I never hear Kirk Hammett ever do that fucking bend a note, spank it a bunch of times, if I never hear him do that again, it'll be too soon. He has run out of ideas as well. More double stops. Okay, that's about the only moment that lit me up for half a second was this cool little pedal tone part. The rest of this is so terribly paced. All right, I'm done. Metallica has lost their credibility with me. I still love Metallica. I still like and or love most of the albums they have ever put out, but it seems like since St. Anger onwards, they have lost so much focus in songwriting and I'm pretty sure that's because Bob Rock left. Say what you want about Load and Reload, there's plenty of complaints to be had about those albums, some of which are in the writing department. The writing on those albums far exceeds St. Anger onwards, in my personal opinion. I'm pretty sure it's because they lost Bob Rock. I'm pretty sure he was the one helping them maintained as focused as possible during the writing process, and I don't know what happened with Jason leaving during the St. Anger thing, but I think that just derailed the hell out of Metallica. It kind of makes me very sad, but then at the same time, I'm kind of relieved. I never have to listen to Metallica again. I don't feel compelled to do so. I mean, other than just trying to rake in these very easy views. I won't be purchasing this album. I won't be listening to it voluntarily on release. This is not good. See you later.